Allison. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you know, he's not that cute, but it makes me happy. Guys cannot satisfy you in bed forever. Then I'll find someone else. <laughs> <laughs> You know, my motto is, you can lead a happy life with Amame. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> well. You're beautiful. Who are you? Ouch, my head hurts. Where am I? Wild night, huh? Hey, move your car, it's blocking the road! Sucks. Well, winter's coming, which means territorial wars are near. That's all I can think about. Don't worry, Alpha. We have a strong and loyal army. About last night, did you mark that girl you were with? Yeah, I, uh, you know, I think I actually blacked out. Um, it's funny. Funny thing is, I actually woke up feeling more energized today. Alpha, do you realize what that means? No, what? It means she counteracts the side effects. That's incredible. What? Allison, how could you sleep with a total stranger? I don't know, but how could he just leave me in his car? Like, what? Did you at least get his number? No, I don't remember what he looks like. Oh, Allison. Oh, no. Why did you do that? <sighs> I'm late for work. Okay. I'll see you later, girl. Okay, bye. Relax, find that girl from yesterday, all right? You didn't get a good look at her? Yeah, she left before the pest could see her. Excuse me. Stop. Oh. I, I'm so, so, so sorry. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I will pay for a new suit. Alpha <laughs> Edward, your suit, it's truly unique. Excuse me. Alpha? That's right. He's our new boss. What? I'm so fired. Nina, I'm kind of busy right now. Hey, did you leave the shirt here? No, just... Oh, my moon goddess, he smells so dreamy. Just throw it out. Allison, CEO's office, now. Alva, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. Allison Snow. How long have you been working here? I'm um, two weeks. <laughs> Only two weeks? How dare you ruin the Alpha's exclusive custom suit? No, I mean, I offered to pay for it. Allison. I'm really sorry. How would you like to be my new secretary? What? What? You don't want to? No, no, it would, it would be my honor. Great. You'll be on call 24-7 with a 10-fold salary. Thank you, Alpha. <laughs> but... She's a newcomer. She won't do well. Look, the old employees are part of the Black Wind Pack. We can't be trusted. Allison, if you could please meet me in the parking lot. We have some errands to run. Yes, Alpha. Oh my god, this has the Crescent Moon Pack emblem. I could sell this for a fortune. Oh! I'm so sorry. Well, excuse you, Miss Secretary. Alpha? Allison. Is he the man from last night? Oh, 
on. You look like a wet little dumpling. <laughs> ha ha, very funny. I actually think I have a shirt in the back here. Oh. Oh. Ow! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I'll get it. What is this? That? Oh yeah, it's the uh, special embroidery for the Alpha of the Crescent Moon Pack. Damn, you really are that guy. Slept with me and left me in the car to be made fun of. Oh sorry, I'll give you some privacy. Yeah. Okay, I can look now. Lex, what is it? Alpha, the girl you were with is selling your custom shirt on eBay. Okay, I'll be right there. All right, Allison, I need you to direct me to this cafe. What, is there something on my face? I just said that you have a really nice face. Good save. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. All right, I know how you she-wolves like to get down. Yeah, she-wolves like me, who have been lone wolves our entire lives. No parents, no status. We had to keep our heads down our entire lives, and we were lucky to even be accepted into a pack. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean... What? Thank you for reminding me why it's good to be alone. Allison. Are you the buyer? Now why would I pay for my shirt? What? This is, this is yours? So you sleep with me and now you're trying to sell me something that's mine? I... Let me introduce myself. I'm Alpha Edward of the Crescent Moon Pack. Nice to meet you, Alpha. If you want to be my Luna, meet me at the Seven Star Hotel tonight at 8. Oh, and um, keep the shirt. Hey, young lady, trespassing on my property again. You're gonna have to pay me a thousand dollars. Or else? This is a public park. I'm not paying you shit. It was a public park. I guess I had to beat it out of you. <laughs> why did I sense Allison was in danger? And why am I angry? I shouldn't be here. My Luna is still waiting for me. Careful next time, Miss Secretary. Oh, so you rescued me and now you're blaming me for it? Rescue you. I saved your life. I didn't ask you to. And my name is not Miss Secretary. It's Allison. Oh, hey, uh, before you go, I got you something. Just as an apology for what I said last night. And um, given what just happened, I think you can take the rest of the day off. How can someone be so sweet and so arrogant? What is happening to me? Alpha, Edward doesn't trust me. He's not stupid. Territorial wars are a life and death battle. Keep a close eye on him and those close to him. Yes, Alpha. Alpha, Nina has agreed to be your Luna. Great. I don't get it, Alpha. She can help you with your side effects, but you don't have to make a new Luna. Listen, Lex, in the Crescent Moon Pack, once you soul bond with another person, you're together for life. Those are just the rules. Yes, yeah, so. I'll. You need a snow? That's me? Where's Alpha Edward? He's busy. Oh no. 
I was looking forward to seeing him. Alpha Edward sends his apologies, but as a gift, he's reserved the entire hotel for your stay. Welcome to the Seven Star Hotel, my Luna. Okay, I'll take this. Oh, and this. And you know, just take all these. I'll take you too. So this is what being rich feels like. Wow. Better than I imagined. Wow. Recover this in two days. What? That's impossible. Oh, being the Alpha Secretary isn't a walk in the park. Joining the pack and becoming the Alpha Secretary is your stroke of luck. Don't be a cocky bitch. He doesn't care about you. There's nothing you can't do. Is he here? Alpha has a new Luna now. She moved into the Seven Star Hotel. What? Looks like we're out of luck. <laughs> Why am I angry? None of my business. Hi, Alpha. Let me show you a good time. No, not tonight. Oh, come on. <laughs> Enough. <sighs> Just get out. What did I do? Just go! Now! I'm sorry, Nina. Maybe I'm not ready. Again? Hey, Allison. Do you want to grab a drink tonight? Great. See you then. Nina, where have you been? I was calling and I was worried about you. Allison, I have great news. I met my fated mate. He treats me so well and we're gonna get married. I'm so excited for you. Wait, is it Mike, the one that I met that one time? Yeah, you've met him. Wait, are you telling me that you're moving out? You know, we've been together forever. We've never been apart. <sighs> Listen, we've stuck together since we were kids. No parents, no status. I didn't even have a last name until you shared yours with me. Best friends forever. No, oh, you're my sister. Oh, I think you have a little mascara. I'll go fix it. Thank you. Alpha Edward will be mine. Hey, Allison. Do you want to join us for the mating bowl tonight? It's a full moon. Thanks, but uh, I think I'll be spending the night with my mate. Oh. Lucky you. Well, have a wonderful full moon then. Thank you. Allison, my office. Now. Yes, Alpha. Did I hear that you have a mate? Um, that's personal. Alpha. Right. Um, those reports from last month, are they ready? Um, I thought those were due three days from now. Well, I need them by tomorrow. But originally you said it was due on the 20th set that- Are you questioning me? Luna, you're smart to come to me. It's up to you whether I become a core member of the Crescent Moon Pack. I'll do anything for you. Anything you ask. Anything you need. 
I'm sorry. I should go. Oh, one more thing. Um, now I heard lone wolves have mating balls every full moon. Yes. Just be careful, okay? You think a mating ball is some kind of vulgar party? I just, I don't want you to catch anything. Oh, so you think I'm the type of person who just gets drunk and sleeps with a stranger? Look, I didn't mean... Alpha, I have joined the Crescent Moon Pack now. I should not be shamed for having once been a lone wolf. Can I go? If he finds out it was me that night, he'll kick me out. I can't reveal anything about that night. I'm sorry, Allison. I just don't want to see you with another man. You're full of flattery. Mm -hmm. But did you get the gift? Yes, yes Luna. This potion is banned for werewolves. It enhances and enables the scent of the female wolf in heat, making the male wolf unable to control himself. It took me a lot to get my hands on that. Well done. So, I hate eating alone. So do I. Uh, I ordered some pasta. Oh, I didn't see the delivery man come in. Well, he was quite stealthy. Oh, that is my favorite pasta place in the city. Yeah? I love Italian. Of course you do. <laughs> uh, they did not give us forks. That's fine. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wait, no, you're gonna get it all greasy. Oh, out of paper towels. Hold on. I'll get it. <laughs> nice bite. Yeah, you're welcome. Alpha, I, I'm so sorry. I didn't have access to scissors when I was growing up, so I, I just used it. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. The, the pasta, it's probably getting cold. Yes, you're yeah. right. Yeah, the pasta. Oh, you are. Uh, you know, you got a little something in Right here. No, I'll just get it. Damn, I want to kiss him so badly, but I can't. Thank you, Allison. Edward will be mine tonight. No, Alpha. You're Luna. She's right. I shouldn't have crossed the line. Um, your your mate doesn't mind you working so late, does he? No. He's um he's very supportive. I'm gonna need all these files by tonight. Okay. See you tomorrow. Did I go too far? <laughs> she's so cute when she's angry. Whoa. What was that? What's happening? Edward, come here. my heart stinging lately. Screw you, Alpha. Screw you and your endless work. I'm going home.
stay away from me. No, get away from me! Wait! Ah, ah. Allison, help me, it's me, Mike! Mike? Omega Mike? Ah. Allison, help me! Uh, Alpha, don't hurt him, he's a friend! <sighs> Alpha, are you okay? <sighs> Allison? Alpha? <gasps> Alpha? Is he hurt? Who is he? He's Alpha Edward. What? He's like the most powerful werewolf in the entire kingdom. Yeah, please help me get him down. What's wrong with him? Is he your mate? No, he's my boss. Boss, right. Wait, you're Nina's mate, right? Why are you following me around this late? I was. She rejected you? Oh, Allison. You ruined my plan. You're gonna pay for this. I think you should do the whole mouth-to-mouth -mouth thingy. What? No, I can't. It's the only way to help him. It's okay, just, just give me a second, okay? Allison, you're supposed to breathe into his mouth to resurrect him, not kiss him. No, look, I think it's working. Is it working? He seems to be doing okay. It's almost dawn. Why don't you take him back to your place? No. He can't know that I'm the reason that he passed out. He's gonna fire me. Wait. He's played me so many times. He even left me in the car. Why not get some payback this time? Alpha? What happened? Let's get you out of here. Alpha, I've dealt with the news and the other media. Good. This panacea, it's, it's getting out of control, Lex. Last night, the only thing I can remember is waking up at Nina's door and then and nothing. Alpha, if you don't want to continue to mate with Nina to reduce the side effects, I think it's time to stop taking the panacea. I think it's messing with your brain. You didn't tell her I'm taking it, right? No, sir. Look, that's the only thing that's going to help me fight against Cecil. It's my secret weapon. It's very costly to you, Alpha. Well, as Alpha of the Crescent Moon back, it's my responsibility to keep everyone safe. Could you send Allison to my office, please? Alpha, I am so sorry about last night. Please don't fire me or kick me out of the pack. What are you talking about? Maybe he doesn't remember anything about last night. Allison, if you could please come help me pick out a gift. Yes, Alpha. Would you like to try anything, hon? Take your time. What do you think? Is so... Ugly. I mean, what color is that? Vomit? No, it's like trendy olive green. What about this one, huh? No. You have no sense of fashion. Please put that away. <laughs> this is more tiring than hunting. Allison, wow, you look incredible. Really? Do you think she's gonna like it? Who? You're Luna. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, we'll be taking that dress along with those shoes. It's good to know that our aesthetics are finally matching. You've chosen the best and most expensive dress and shoes we have in the store. Sir, your mate has good taste. Oh, oh no. no, I'm not she, me. not my mate. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me try these on. I never would have been able to afford them myself. 
Now the dress with the shoes, you're looking at a total of $30,000. Cash or credit? Neither. Uh, I I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> you must be new here. <laughs> I mean, yes, I am, but I don't see why that has anything to do with your payment. Your friend here looks like she shops at forgotten <laughs> thrift stores. Uh, and you, you're not paying? Hey, have some respect. This is Alpha Edward you're talking to. Oh my moon god, it's Alpha Edward. Uh, I didn't know you were gonna be here. By insulting my secretary, you've insulted me. You're fired. Did you hear what I said? Good morning. Nina, you asked me to text you when we found your biological parents. We discovered that the royal daughter of the snowpack is in our orphanage. Is your last name Snow? Allison. You know, I think she's gonna love her gifts. I know I haven't met her yet, but I know what women want. What kind of person is she? She's not you. She's about your height. A little curvier, though. Wow, she sounds gorgeous. <laughs> hey, is everything okay? Nina and I are going out for dinner tonight. Could you come talk her of the whole moving out thing? Yeah, sure. Text me the info. Was that your mate? Yeah. And uh, what's he like? <laughs> 